couple days late on this one, but need to give Margot his due. It's Astros. It's Rays. Game two of the ALCS. This one's brought to you by DraftKings. Now, check this out. There's two outs. There's a runner on first. One more out. Out of the first inning. McCullers on his way to a good game. Ground ball to Altuve. Easy play. And then weirdness ensues because Choi wasn't running hard. And Yuli didn't try at all. Like, look at this. Look where this ball bounces. And then think that if he actually stretched his left leg or stretched his arm as far as his arm can go, he could just simply very easily catch that on a fly. So that's weirdness number one. Weirdness number two is that even after the fact, if he left his foot on the bag here, it'd be out. But the other angle clearly shows he took his foot off the bag to grab it. But if he just kept his foot on the bag, out, inning over. And weirdness number three, Choi not running hard at all. So, really weird error. I mean, three guys just looking like they're playing beer league softball, and will this loom large? Yeah, because our dude, the, this video is about Manny Mar goes up, he fouls off that fastball, gets the off speed, and pokes it to dead center 400 feet, leaves Springer falling in love with the wall, just standing there with goo on his pants. Margo rounding the bases, celebrating Altuve upset. Yuli pissed off. McCullers can't believe it. What happened? I was out of this inning. Then Yuli gets a hit. The Astros are coming back right away in the next inning. They got two runners on. They got two outs. We're going to make do because they capitalized on our mistake. Our turn to make them make some mistakes. Fly ball to right. Going to be a foul ball. Margot blinding by the sun. Chasing it, though. Oh, my God. He made the catch. The Astros can't catch a break. The Rays catch everything in this series. And this was just a little preview of that. Look at him running. I don't think he pokes his head up to see where the wall is at all. He's running the whole way, just trying to get the sun out of his eyes. So he feels the warning track on his feet, but he truly never looks and peeks. I guess we don't know because he's got sunglasses on. And then his knees just take a beating. I mean, look at this first knee. This one, his left knee just hits the fence right there. Probably didn't hurt that bad. Then he gets flipped over, falls into the canyon. Not sure why Petco Park has a moat surrounding their outfield. And he bangs his knee. Here's a good look. Left knee hits there. Then he falls. Umpire hustling. Ah! Look at that. Uh, look at the right knee. So the left knee gets it when he gets flipped. Okay, a little fun here. Cool, cool. All right, great. Good. And we're back to normal. Left knee gets it here. Bam, makes the catch. And now the right knee is going to get it. Ow. Ow. Bam, slam. Ow. Saved a run from scoring after securing three runs for his team. Margot changed this entire game for the Astros. And this has kind of been their face all series because the Astros just hit the ball hard and the Rays are just got, they got nine vacuum cleaners out there. You don't want to go anywhere near their suction level. This one's brought to you by DraftKings. They love baseball and these breakdowns. So go to the DraftKings, get the app, use code JOHNBOY, have some fun. I mean, choose the Rays next year because it looks like they're just going to be good forever. It's like, what the hell?